What's going on guys? My name is BJ and this is Praska Boys Garage. And today I got my buddy Justin back in the shop with me and we are working on his Honda Chinese Ruckus clone it's thing. A it's a Chuckus. It's a Chuckus is what we've learned. So uh, the Chuckus is what's on the table today. And if you saw the last video, it has not been running for quite a while. We got it back up to running based on the low compression and it ran 26 miles an hour. And for us, that's just not gonna cut what we want it to do. So today we've ordered a 100cc kit off of eBay, comes with everything you see on the table. Also, one little surprise, Let's see what we can do. So stick with me, should be a good one. We're gonna start knocking off some easy stuff right off the bat, and that's gonna be the variator and weights, the spring and the clutch springs. We're gonna go ahead and get those knocked out inside that case. Also, we're gonna throw in the CDI box that came with the kit. I'm assuming that performance CDI box he put in here is the exact same thing, but because this is what came with the kit specifically, we're just gonna go ahead and use that one. Now that I've got the case off, we're gonna go ahead and pop the variator out. Not with that. Now that we've got the old variator and clutch off, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the new variator on with roller weights. Also, we're gonna swap out the old clutch springs with the new ones. We just ran into our first snag. I do not have a 39 millimeter socket, so we're gonna pause on the clutch system for now, and we're gonna start tackling this top end. In the meantime, I'm gonna have Justin run to the hardware store, pick up that socket so we can finish this up. I wanna make a quick note before we get started. This kit comes with almost everything we need. We're gonna go ahead and get rid of the carburetor, the intake, the exhaust, if it was still on here, and both the cylinder sleeve and the head is all gonna be gone. The only things we're really keeping is the spring compressor and the valve cover. All right, guys, so check this out. We pulled the cylinder sleeve out for the first time, and look what we found. That cylinder wall is just destroyed. So I am glad we took the time uh, to take this whole thing apart and do this kit because, you know, we could have just easily said 100 PSI was fine and wrote it the way it was, but, man, it would not have been fine. I mean, I can almost break this off. Yeah, if I put a little bit of pressure, that's just going to snap right off. So this is now trash. We're going to go ahead and move on, put the new stuff in. Let's go ahead and pop the piston out now. Now, Justin, but is that supposed to be bent? That's bent. Well, under further investigation, we now know why that sleeve was broken. It's because our connecting rod is bent. And you can see it's bent upwards and that's exactly where that crack was in the sleeve. So you can see right here is where that crack was because that connecting rod was just smacking it over and over and over again because it's bent. So this 100cc slap-on bolt-on kit that was supposed to take maybe an hour to install is now gonna result in a complete disassembly of the motor. We gotta go ahead and split the case in half and get a new crank ordered. In the last video, I had mentioned this was going to be an easy project and for 200 bucks, it was a great deal. Well, now we find out that you get what you pay for. And in this case, that rod being bent, there's nothing we can do besides break it down. So we have a long day ahead of us and we're gonna go ahead and take the motor off completely, completely disassemble it because in order to put a new crank in, it is all one piece. Uh, we got to split the case. So that's what we're going to do now.
I'm not gonna lie, we absolutely did that the hardest way possible, but it is finally out. And just look at how mangled this thing is. I mean, it it is a surprise to me that we actually got this thing to run and drive at 26 miles an hour. Just think about the RPMs that got pushed through this thing. And I didn't hear a rod knock or anything suspicious. I just assumed it was a dog. But here we look and see just the carnage of what had happened. So $200 sounded like a pretty good deal. <laughs> get a couple hours into it and find out well maybe we paid what it was worth so i'm gonna get the new parts ordered and uh, we'll pick you guys back up when they get here i'm gonna go ahead and get everything cleaned up and organized but while i was just staring at this thing i noticed that there was another washer sitting at the bottom and it uh, looks just like this i pulled it out and uh you wouldn't believe it but the piece we've been fighting to get off the whole time slides right off that means the wheel also slides right off idiots good morning it is another day in the shop the crank and gasket kit are here and uh, let me just give you a little bit closer look of how bad this rod has been i mean just look at the difference from what it's supposed to be to what it is my gosh that is just <laughs> It is so dramatic when you put these things side by side. I mean, just look at how mangled that one actually is. It is unreal that it actually ran with that rod in there. So we've got the new crank and rod. We've got a new gasket kit and the complete top end. So what I'm going to do is throw you back into a time lapse and let's start getting this thing put back together. All right, the crank is back in and the bottom end is 100% put back together. Rather than throwing it back in the scooter since it's already off, we're just gonna go ahead and start reassembling the whole top end on the bench. So I'm getting ready to put the piston in. Just take a look at the difference in size. We're literally going up double the CC, and I would say that's almost double the size of the original piston. So we are definitely going to be creating some more power. So we are just moving right along. And I got to say, this thing is looking absolutely fantastic. Everything relatively easy. We had a few small things we had to go back and redo, but nothing we couldn't handle. And it is coming together perfectly. So what we're going to do now is set our valves, put back on our valve cover, fill this thing up with oil, and then we're going to bench test the compression and see how we did. So now that we've got oil in it, 
we want to test compression before it goes back on the scooter. We can't do that because this requires a Benedix to turn it over. So we're gonna go ahead and get the side completely done. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, we do have to redo the springs for that clutch. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. That hurt me. Are you okay? I actually avoided all. Uh, Did you even all, all? Everything was missed. Yeah. So bigger needles. Okay. For more. Oomph. More grit. <clears throat> hey Justin, let's just do it the easy way. It popped out that easy. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I think it's all time loss. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it wasn't though. Oh no, it's not. It's not. It's not time lapse. No, they got the whole thing. Well guys, it's that time where we check our work. So the side cover and all the clutch system is done. Now we're gonna check our compression. So all we're gonna do is hook up power to the starter with the compression tester on. Let's see how we did. Any predictions, Justin? Um, I'm hoping north of like 140. Okay. Yeah, that ideal would be 150. So let's go ahead. You ready? Yep. Here we go. A little over 150. <laughs> yes, you want to clear it? Yeah, I'll bet. Let's do it one more time. One more time. Ready? Dude, that's awesome. Three and a half hours later, it's time to throw this thing back in. So we've ran into a little snag right at the end, of course. It is the exhaust. The exhaust that came with the kit doesn't fit with this style of bike. I know there's a few different generations, and with this one, that exhaust is just not gonna line up. So what we're gonna do now is take the old mangled exhaust, Justin's clamping it down right now, and it's just gonna kinda be like an angled out, so it's still gonna be super loud, and as far as tuning is concerned, we wanna make sure that we have a good exhaust before we do that, but for now, We've done all this work, we just wanna hear it run. So we know we have fuel in the gas tank. It's got all the way up to the fuel pump, but we've got nothing to the carburetor yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it primed, turn it over quite a bit, and then once that bowl fills up, hopefully it'll run. Okay, keys on. So we gotta see about fuel. All right, so we got fuel coming through. It's now going down to the carburetor. <laughs> it's probably gonna do that a couple times before she lights. Oh man, I'm excited. It's close. 
<laughs> Come on. starter right now. Alright, come on. Oh, come on. All right, guys, well, it runs, and that is fantastic news. So all we've got left to do is figure out this exhaust issue. And our thought is to take the old broken exhaust. Justin's putting that piece on right now. We're gonna, I'm going to turn you guys around. Our plan is to cut the existing exhaust. There's a straight edge there. And then cut the flange off right here. And what we'll do is we'll kind of mock up on the scooter where it needs to go and weld it in place. Because you know it couldn't be a Praska Boys Garage episode if I didn't have to bust my welder out. So I think, so the bend starts there. So you want to just be straight, yeah. straight down right there. So what we did is we actually made a few cuts in both pieces of metal and we're gonna go ahead and fuse them together. You can see they line up perfectly with that exhaust attached up top. So Justin's gonna go ahead and uh, tack this thing together. We'll pull it back off and then we'll finish it up. Last piece of the puzzle is all finished up. The exhaust is bolted on and looks fantastic. For what we had to do to make it work, I gotta say, I'm very happy with the results. So all we gotta do now, take it off the table, take it for a spin. So we probably should have waited until we put the exhaust on, but we were just too excited to hear it run. But when you have the exhaust on, it just runs better. Go ahead and hit it now, Justin. She's ready to go. chance I could drive it out of here without having some help. But we're gonna give her a shot. I gotta hold the camera so yeah, I'm going to take it out to the road and see if I can get a top speed. So here's the deal. We're not going to do a lot of filming because it's super cold, but I definitely want to find out how fast it is. So we're going to go ahead and do a top speed run right now.
Man, that thing did not disappoint. A 100cc big bore kit was definitely a great option, especially when you're comparing it to just the 50ccs that we started with. 26 miles per hour, up to 37 miles per hour, and we still had power to go. We just ran out of gear. And with that being said, we know that we want to get this thing dialed in perfect. So the gearing needs to be adjusted, the carburetor needs to be adjusted, and also the transmission. And we're going to do that for a later day. You saw in those clips, it's just not the perfect weather for tuning a scooter. Uh, climate wise temperature wise it's going to be a completely different tune in three months from now so we're going to hold off on that now if you're visiting my channel because you're a scooter person don't worry i got plenty of scooter content coming in the future i could not let justin have all the fun i went ahead and picked up one of my own mad dog 50 cc ice bears but i can't let justin's be better than mine <laughs> i've got some plans in store so with that being said, guys, I want to say thank you so much for watching this video. Do me a solid. If you enjoyed the content, hit that thumbs up. And if you stuck around to the end of this video and you're not yet subscribed, what are you doing? Do yourself and myself a favor. Hit that subscribe button because that is the only way I can guarantee I will see you on the next one. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it. And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing. Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it. Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving. Keep my head up when I act, head up, that's a fact. Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track. Keep my head up, staying strong, always moving on. Feel I don't belong, tell my boss to move along. Push myself to be the best, die with no regrets. Live with every See my message start to spread And I had so many dreams Then you hit your teens I ain't really what it seems Try to find out what it means Always do it on my own So I gotta get through it And the only thing I know Is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow Till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's I just wanna keep moving Yeah, I put out all this heart It's my only medicine Yeah, everything I do I'm just being genuine Yeah, I'm sick of being screwed Feel my own Adrenaline, yeah, I do just what I do And I hope you let me in, let me in, yeah I'm grateful, oh yeah Able, oh yeah I'm stable, oh yeah No label, oh yeah You know me, I have only a path I'm lonely, but damn